Hello YouTube, Tootie to back, very special video indeed. Uh, I'm a winner, chicken dinner again from none other than Kevin fucking Wolford123. No, sorry, it's not Kevin fucking Wolford123. I don't know, in my mind, every time I hear him say his name, I always imagine it's Kevin Bloody, because it's Kevin Bloody Bilson, the comedian. But I don't know, I always put in fucking Kevin fucking Wolford123. It's not, it's Kevin Will, it's not Kevin Wilson, it's Kevin Wolford123. I've only just started, I've only just had to open the can up. Uh, I was going to leave this to the weekend, but this arrived sharpish. Um, so I thought, no, I'll, I'll, I'll do the video, do the video today, tonight even, which is why it's a little bit badly lit, so I do apologise. This is in homage, if you can see that, to the big man himself. Hey guys, right, so hopefully <laughs> this will make sense. Uh, so I've got a loot crate, a Kev crate, off uh, Kevin fucking Wolford 123, Kevin Bloody Wilson. Uh, I did the video, and I think it was whatever day it was in the week where it just went black and everything. It was crap. You can see that just from that little bit of an intro. So to do this justice, I've got all the bits back together again, so to speak. Uh, and I'm just going to show them, as you can see, it's like fucking day and night. Literally, it looks like day and night. Um, but I thought I'd leave the intro in there because it was, oh, I thought it was quite funny. Uh, <laughs> but it's not Kevin King Wolford, it's Kevin Wolford123. Anyway, right, so I've still got the box, which I think you've seen. Uh, then I go through the notes, I don't know, we'll, we'll quickly skim through the note. Uh, handwritten by Kev's wonderful missus. Too sure, I hope you find the contents of the, enjoy, of the box enjoyable. I tried to rush this too much. Uh, I did admit this bit, but it, it, I don't think it matters too much. The NTSC game I've owned since new. Uh, I thought it would be nice to give you something I had a, a connection to. Keep up the good work and congratulations on winning. P.S. Feel free to do what you want with the contents from Kevin. So awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Go and check Kev out. He did, um, what did he do with Play, play back pool. We had, come and feel my bag. Come, come, have, come have a rummage in my bag. He had some, um, Speed arts that he'd done, and one of them was like a, a lucky one, and obviously bloody big dunk one. That, of course, he would have. Having said that, I won the competition. Again, I don't know which bits I'm going to chop out from the start, but this dog loved my name that much, it even at the ticket. So, obviously, I know what's in here, so, so a little bit of the element of, has, has been taken out. I do apologise, Kev. I wanted to get it out sooner rather than late. I didn't want to sort of uh, leave it too long, hey, because I wanted to see what was in it. So, depending on my now, because I've, I've seen the footage and it's, it's awful. You can't see anything. Uh, okay, so so the, the NTC game that Kev was referring to, Power Stowed on the Dreamcast, Japanese, absolutely cracking game. I had this on the PAL version on uh, when it first, you know, when it first came out. Uh, purchased that with some birthday money actually um, from, from the ex Mrs. Well, Mrs. However many years back, she weren't happy. The fact that when I bought um, video games um, with, with with money for the birthday, <laughs> but yeah, and I've got Power Stone 2 on the PAL, but that's uh, that is Balton. Great artwork. So, Kev, I mean, to be honest, pal, if you wanted if you wanted to keep this, I, I'm. Oh, shit. Quite happy to, to, to return it back to you. Yeah, I wouldn't want to take anything that's. To be honest, if you've had it since no, then I don't know. I feel really bad. <laughs> um, comic, Marvel team, Ultimate Marvel. Oh yeah, and in homage to Kev, I've put, put Ultimate Spider-Man on because he's big into his uh, Marvel and Avengers and DC and all that. So this is uh, issue one. So it's worth about 10 million pesetas. No. Uh, Ultimate Team Up, Spider-Man and Wolverine. So there you go, bit of a comic. So, obviously Kev put this crate together, I think, to accommodate multiple um, people of his fan base, I'm guessing. So clearly there's some stuff in here that, I know, well, I've said previously, you know, that I'll be keeping. There's other bits that obviously don't hold any you know, any meaning or, or, or such like uh, to myself. 
so the comic comics I don't know I, I'll, I'll keep it because it's issue one I'll just stick it in the sock drawer and leave it there for years and years so I will but I will keep that because I don't see the point in getting rid of that at all uh, the, uh, these little funky things from before sees us uh, Avenger superhero card uh, when I did the first video I keep referring back to this but I thought they were single cards and not that there's multiples in the pack so it looks like they're like top trump type things I think or unless Oh, hang on. No, I should have thought now. So there's these little, what well, I thought were Lego men. Again, because it's so dark, I couldn't see it. But these obviously look like they're parts of these. Because it's the same character. So you've got Thor. Thor. You've got Hulk. Hulk and Hulk. And then you've got Iron Man and Iron Man. So they're awesome. So these are little Lego-esque type figures. I don't think that they're not OG Lego because I've got Lego stamped on them. Um, I don't think they are anyway. I remember checking this the other day. No, they're not. But Lego-esque figures. Who doesn't like you know some Lego figurines? Those more observant. You may notice that the Budweiser seems to have got a slightly different colour because I'm on the old head. Speckled head, I do like the ales. That's fancy to change. I think when it, the Bud's more for when it's hot and you know, because it's, it's, it's that kind of drink where that's more. I don't know, I'm, but the winter go more stouty like your Guinnesses and, and your ales. I don't know. I'm getting old, man. I'm getting old. Anyway, something to um, satisfy the hunger. Cog Squares. I'll have, to chop tea. I'll have to chop that in half because otherwise the kids will be fighting tooth and nail over that. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a transformer. I think it's a stress ball. Transformer and it is Optimus Prime. It's alright. Uh, what else have we got? So, ah, okay. Violet. So these are the Disney Infinity figures. Uh, pretty, I think from watching a couple of Kev's videos, especially Kev was, I'm sure his missus is into Disney Infinity. Obviously, Kev bought. Is that no? That's Lego Dimensions, isn't it? He bought the. Uh, what was it? No, it was it's Lego Dimensions for Back to the Future, wasn't it? Uh, I think his missus is into the Infinity figures. Anyway, I'm not. Uh, so you know, this may be something that goes into a trade fodder piles, whatever. Um, but yeah, with the new Star Wars movie coming up, I'm pretty sure that Disney's going to be cashing in, big style, off the back of that. Oh. We have another Infinity Violet one. Now, I don't know, my guess is, and I guessed this before, is these, I'm wondering if these discs are like the cut down version of that. Because essentially what you're looking at is just the base, isn't it, really? That's what sort of control you know with a little chip inside it and the figurines are just to look nice um a bit like the animal crossing cards that you can get where you get the figures but you just get the cards and the cards hold you know the same data uh, but again uh, infinity is not really my thing so a couple of other moving on to sort of more oh, actually no hang on do these and then we'll go on to more sort of gaming related uh, odds and sods. So no loot crate would be complete, no Kev crate would be complete without an Avengers, Avengers Assemble. This is a great movie. Obviously I've got this, but I think, I'm pretty sure that um, the father-in-law hasn't. And I'm, I'm, so it would be a nice little sort of, you know, earn a few brownie points, should we say. And yeah, it's all, it's all fine, it's all great. It is a great movie actually, I do really enjoy that. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we've got it on some normal DVD because if we'd had it on Blu-ray uh, Blu then I would have kept that because the kids watch it on the laptops and stuff and it's always useful end up buying two copies of everything now this, now do these first I'm not sure what these are, I think this is from God of War it's to unlock Thanatos and, really, and exclusive Jack the Ripper skin I don't know what it's for, Battleground of the Gods I don't know, so if that's any good to anybody let me know and I'll, I'll gladly send you the code uh, curse voice, I don't know what it's. don't know. I know that Curse Gaming used to be, I used to use that for Warcraft. And then we've got some tattoos. Something like. Um, 
what's what we call them, like vampire zombie Halloween tattoos, which will probably be useful for next year because what we tend to do with Halloween is one year, one year off, sort of go trick or treating, and one year sort of stay in. So next year we'll, you know, we sort of say to the girls, well, I'll book in here to take them trick or treating. And I've got some uh, walking dead packs, of different blood and stuff, so they'll come useful for that. Uh, a book, is it a book? Now, these are kind of, the movers of these are very, um, they've got a cult following. I think I'm pretty sure the wife's watched a few of them. It's this, the, the wife and daughter love uh, this particular mammal, uh, and it is a shark, and this is How to Survive a Sharknado. So if you don't know, there's a load of movies out, like Sharknado versus, I don't know, the three-headed fucking lizard or something, I don't know, there's loads of Sharknado versus Tyrannosaurus Rex and stuff, so it's, it's a tornado with sharks in it that go and devour everything, it's completely, you know, it's like, um, like them movies from the 80s, 90s, with the, the zombie, uh, what's his name, Toxic Avenger, Trom Trombo, Trombo, I can't, I can't remember who they were, anyway, um, yeah, by Andrew Schaffer, Andrew Schaefer. He sounds familiar. I think he's done another book. I'm sure he's done some video game books, Andrew Schaefer. Schaefer. Can't remember. How to survive a Sharknado. <laughs> Kev, I'm not sure where you got that from. I hope you didn't pay much money for it. Mmm. Okay. A few goodies here. This is staying. It is a nice black Dreamcast VMU. I have got a boxed rumble pack, not black one but a grey one, um, on in the shelf. Dreamcast collection, I, I thinned right down, I did a lot of trading with Pat and the old, and the old username, still got it, still you know, got some sort of choicier titles, um, Shenmue's, Street Fighters and stuff like that, so uh, there may be course to sort of slim that down on some of the more fringe, like I've got Wacky Races and all that stuff, I didn't get a lot of love for Dreamcast admittedly. Um, but that will be uh, definitely staying. That's NTSC, I don't think it particularly matters, does it? I don't think so. I think it's a VMU, I think it will work in anything. Pete or Pat will be able to tell me, well, Pat's probably sold all his Dreamcast stuff anyway. Pat and Pete, Snestastic, fucking should live together. Just give each other stuff back on the floor, because they're always ever buying and selling. Right, on to some games, more gamey, gamey stuff. Um, very good game here I've got both of these black label this is the second one it is Kingdom Hearts excellent excellent game platinum absolutely spankaroony wonderful obviously that will go to some trade pot this one I discussed again when I've recorded it the first time got a bit of a cult following as well um, and there's a few tubers that you know can quote lines out of this movie and if you watched the, the sort of TV movie documentary, I don't know what's a documentary, TV movie thing signed, Daniel, Daniel Radcliffe uh, it was on a couple of weeks back, Game Changers. It was about obviously Rockstar Games and it's, it is the Warriors. But he mentioned this in terms of when they were developing um, San Andreas, they had to pull artists or devs off the Warriors. It's quite interesting just, just, just to hear, you know, these games and these titles that you know about being sort of banded about, so yeah, Warriors come out to play. Do have that, what I'll probably do, because this is in great condition, as you always do, you always up, you know, trade upwards, don't you? Make sure I've got the best copy of each one. Right, last couple of bits. Mm. A couple of cracking little figurines. A bit of a sucker for these. This is Toad. Toad Ed, these are not McDonald's ones. These are like the, um, what is it, like Wilder Nintendo type um, characters. So, look, Toad, awesome. Can't be a bit. And Luigi, follow Luigi. Does look cool with the, with the cap on. So, these will definitely be going into the collection. If I can fit them on the shelf somewhere, I may do. I mean, Toad's small enough to fit in, and so is Luigi. But, you know, my space is, is at a premium. Really, is I've got bags of like merch like that in, in, in the garage, but awesome, awesome stuff. And the last two games, this one um, I discussed. I'm gone because I'm pretty sure I got. I, I, I did get rid of all these ones. Yeah, on the part of the call. 
Um, DS Lego Batman. I'm sure I got rid of all the Lego games on the sorry, Dad, but never mind. On the on the DSs, uh, essentially because I had them. I'm either going to have them on the PS3 or more likely probably on the Wii U. I don't see they're all essentially the same game. Uh, but yeah, that'll obviously fire down more. That'll be put to good use. No, no worries about that. And then lastly, no, not lastly. Tell a lie. I'm going to show you this one. Um, I had to go and grab this back off, off the missus. I sort of said to her in the previous video. I said I'm pretty sure she'd be interested. She was. She said, "Oh yeah, I'll have that." Um, again, as I mentioned before, you don't know about this, but I did sort of say this is not going to inspire me or. Um, influence me to start collecting these bloody things uh, unlike Kev and uh, Gasset Steve who I've said numerous times on these videos I'm pretty sure we're gonna find you buried you know alive underneath a pile of these things and they are pop pop vinyl figures this is um, Ingrid from Game of Thrones so she's dead <laughs> bit of a spoiler, spoiler alert, she's dead. So she was Jon Snow's bit of rough from the Wildlings. I actually, in the first year, I said the others, but the others are from Lost. Uh, the Wildlings, yeah, so she was, she's Scottish, and she's dead. She's dead with Ned. Ned's dead. You do know Ned's dead, don't you, as well? Ned Stark. Um, but yeah, love the Game of Thrones. I've seen a few of these uh, pop vinyls. I've seen some today, actually, fully enough. And they do look really, really cool. But you'd be there forever. Tyrion looks absolutely brilliant with a little scar and stuff but yeah so that's going back on the onto the wife's desk anyway Kev so that's found home and then lastly one that's uh, another one that's staying is Castlevania Laws of Shadow on the PS3 now I know historically they're sort of you know this more currently gen Castlevania games the 3D ones after the N64 didn't get a lot of love they weren't very well received but I don't know I'll, I'll give it a whirl you know it's, I think it's very, um, but I've lost the word, like High Wall Warriors, which is based on Dynasty Warriors, Dynasty Warriors-esque, it looks like, anyway, but again, like, a bit of hack and slash, hack and slash, there you go. So that is the Kev Crate, not to be confused with uh, other inferior products. Um, so I've signed up for next month, Kev. So if you want to send that through to me, buddy, I'll uh, I'll, I'll do another video on that. Joking, but no, definitely. Please go and check Kev out. He's a really nice guy. Uh, does a lot of he's, he's into his modding at the minute, in, into his modding his Xboxes and, and all, all kinds of manner of wonderful um, odds and sods. And I'm pretty sure if you, if 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 you're nice enough to him and you know ingratiate yourself with him, it uh, it sort you out. But definitely go and check Kev out. Just some great car boot videos, um, really enjoyable to watch. Does them ones where he kind of just segments it into uh, uh, key points within the video, which I quite like. So yeah, and he's a, he's a really, really nice man. That's it, we're done. Kev Crate, awesome. I'm done for the minute, and I do apologise again. Kev, uh, honestly, I did that video and I thought it's not going to do it justice. I, I'll keep the start bit, hopefully, and I, I'm, you know, I hope this isn't uh, ruined it too much. It would have been nice to capture, admittedly, the, the, the initial impressions, but I didn't want to set inferior product. Take it easy, YouTube, and subscribe to Kevin Walford123. Take it easy, bye bye.